I want to talk about callout arrows. It's a cool little thing that you can do with CSS borders. Now I've got uh, four paragraphs here and what I've done is I've added a pseudo element after to each one and basically created a box that has no content inside of it. It's got a width and height of 20 pixels so that's this little gap that you see in the middle here is the 20 by 20 and then I've given each one of them a border 20 pixels thick so each side is 20 pixels and by default the color is dark 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 gray almost black now on the last one what I did was I changed the color on all four sides so that's why we get this multicolored one now I'm doing this to illustrate what happens if you get rid of all the content let's say I had no content inside of any one of those refresh this there we go you notice how when it collapses down when there's no content whatsoever then you get these four triangles we can use these four triangles as like callout arrows so I'm going to show you a few different examples three different examples of what we can do with this all right now um, we've done position relative on all the paragraphs the pseudo element after is position absolute so this is positioned relative to its container when I give an actual coordinate for any one of these little elements it is going to be positioned relative to the four sides to the content box of each one of the paragraphs that they're inside of so let's go to the first one and in the first one what I want to do is I'm going to build one of those little overlapping sort of triangles up in the corner here so we'll come down to this first one and we're going to position it top zero and right zero so that'll move it to the top right corner this is where the paragraph ends is right here I can make it a little bigger if I want I could say I'm going to change the border width on all four sides to be 40 pixels instead of just 20 pixels there we are and this large thing I want to have a, a nicer color to it so let's change the border color to be let's do HSL or HSLA we'll say 100 degrees 50 percent 60 percent and then 80 percent alpha take a look and see how that looks yeah, sure that looks pretty good so if a little bit of text ends up being underneath this thing we can still read the text through but we're gonna to try to avoid it we want to get rid of this lower left half of this and the way we do it is by just setting the color on these two parts if we look down here it's made up of these four pieces if we got rid of the pink and the blue if we set their color to transparent we're left with just that one arrow in the corner so we'll say border bottom color transparent and then the border left color to transparent as well and we get rid of those two sides and we're left with this cool little arrow up in the corner so we could use the before element to place something on top of this if we wanted now these guys I want to have a little arrow that's pointing out to the left on this one and this one I'll do a little arrow pointing out on the right same side of same idea we will say the position for this second one here I want to go to the left edge but I want to push it out a little bit further to the left edge so let's say the left is going to be negative 30 pixels and we'll say that the top is going to be down uh, let's go down to REM from the top that's probably a good position refresh this and yeah, we can push that down a little bit further go three there we are now the only one I want to keep is the yellow so the one that's pointing out here the other three we're all gonna set those to transparent so we'll set our default border color to let's say gold and then we're gonna do this the bottom, the left, and the top are all going to be set to transparent. We're going to hide those three, so the only one that we're left with is this. You want to make this bigger? You just change the width of the border. Let's make that.
make this 30 pixels. And if we do that, then we'll probably bump this up a little bit as well, the positioning to push it out further. There we are. And I'll nudge this back up a little bit too. There we go. So there's a call out arrow pointing to the left. To do the one on the right here, well, I'm just going to copy and paste because a lot of this is going to be repeated. On the right, we're going to do 50 pixels. Top, sure, we'll move it down the same amount. Border width, we can leave it the same. And do a nice green color. Now, we don't want to hide the right, uh, sorry, the left one. It's the right one we want to hide. We want to keep the left one, the blue one here. So let's change this to right. Refresh. And there we go. So we've got call out arrows pointing to the left and the right. You can then add content to the side using the before element. Add content over here. We can reduce the width of the paragraph. Now I can come in here and let's say I want to take uh, this third one and I'm going to shrink it in to have the arrow sitting about here. So let's go to P nth of type and I want number three on the page and we'll set its width is going to be 50% take a look and see how that goes there we go reduced width puts this here and then I could use the before element so nth of type number three the before element We'll position it absolute the same way. And so this third one right here, where is it? There we are. Right was negative 50 pixels. <clears throat> so this is positioned negative 50 pixels off to the side. That's the center point right here. That's the content area. That is 50 pixels over. So I want to go beyond that. So let's say we're going to go 80 pixels. So minus 80, and that's the right side, minus 80 pixels off to the right, and uh, top, we'll go down one REM, this is down two REM, so we'll go down one REM, and then the content, this is some sample content, and we'll give it a width of let's say 60 pixels there we are so you can see that you could style this completely differently this could be a comment about something that's going on inside of here and that's how you build callout arrows with CSS borders you've got these four pieces and you can put them together in any combination you want you could even like build a little flag that's off to the left and right of some sort of heading so if I kept three of them and I just got rid of the one on the right I'd have this cool little flag shape here. I could do the same thing on the other side as well by just getting rid of one, either the left or the right. I can make these little flags. So I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you found this useful, please share. As always, thanks for watching.